So my real job out here under the desert sun is making um, the drip system, the irrigation has been laid out for these beds in Vegas. And of course here where it's the desert, it's really important that they get water even more than usual. So what I've been doing is taking this little puncher tool and basically measuring with this ruler every four inches or six inches depending on what I'm planting. This one I'm doing four. And then you're just going to go in there, press a hole, and you'll see that. And then you get a dripper and you want to keep your drippers kind of clean, don't let dirt get in them. Um, that's my bag of drippers over there. And I have these gloves because this hose is actually burning hot from how hot the sun is out here. Anyway, line that up against the hole you just punched. And usually you use two hands, which is going to be a lot easier. But you just push it in. And you want to make sure it's all the way in. And you can turn it and see that it's secure. And then that's good. Here's another hole I punched earlier. And that dripper's no good. So again, take this end of the dripper, line it up to the hole, and push. Make sure it's in. And on we go. Next one. Look at the four inch mark. Okay, so you can see I made a hole there. It's not that hard. The plastic is not that hard to penetrate. And then we go with another dripper. And I already did this bed. It's the first rows are four inches apart, the second rows are six inches apart, and the middles are yet to be done. And then I did this bed over by this great date palm, which I noticed when I was over here getting poked by these sharp knife-like palm protrusions, that there's a little nest. So I love to see nature at work and there's no birds or eggs right now but I just thought that was very perfect right there and here's a uh, the parsley and the tree collards going in the ground these beds we're gonna actually put seeds from starts and I'll show you how I'm soaking the little seed beds in a minute and then these were from a previous gardening trip and there's some really cute little eggplants I love these right there and the tomatoes, of course, they're looking great. And we've been making lots of tomato gazpacho with these herbs, basil, oregano. There's a jicama vine in there. And these are the peppers that looked a mess when we got here. And I went ahead and leafed them and got all the fallen pieces out and I harvested all the ripe peppers and then staked them up. So we'll see if they make another crop. The tomatoes are again all harvested because the whole point of growing this stuff was to eat it. And over here putting in some new tomatoes and a lemon verbena plant right there which is going to spread pretty big. And there's some baby date palm volunteers over in the yonder of the yard. This is kind of fun to watch. I put all these little plant beds in a concrete mixer and added water and they look like this to begin with when they're dry and then they expand like this. These are the real cheap pellet jiffy refills. Watch this. Warm water. It was better in the other bin when they were so full they couldn't move. They're like mushrooms sprouting up. When they're one to one and a half inches tall, they're done. And they kind of look like they are at least an inch tall. Plus there's water in the bottom and it's not absorbing. So 
So I think they're done and we're gonna put seeds in them in the Vegas desert and see how they fare and they have that extra moisture around them. Oh yeah, it's like a big freaking marshmallow. Seed would like to live in there. This is the beet Detroit dark red, it's organic. The radish purple plum and the watermelon radish. So push two seeds into one of the Okay, so far. I'm trying to stagger them. We're not gonna do whatever, whatever order. Just put two in each one of them, and then probably like make a tray of them. And then... Okay. I guess I should make a row of each different kind, so I know which ones they are. Like one whole row is the watermelon radish. No, I just mix them all up, no. So it doesn't have to be beet radish, beet radish. Yeah, whatever you do, it'll be best. You know, whatever you want to do. Beets, watermelon radish. I put radishes in my juice this morning. Oh, that's good. Well, they have a bit of a bite, but what they're good for is MSM, like naturally occurring sulfur and that's really good for your skin. So if you, as long as you add like apple and it's just one or two radishes per the whole juice, then it still tastes fine. It tastes better than putting MSM powder in your water. That's all I'm saying. So as long as we don't get these seeds wet, we can put them back in the paper package if we don't use them all. Right. I wonder if it matters, like some of these seeds are dark tan color, some are light tan, some are reddish looking. The different varieties are in the same packet. No, like in the same packet. So I wonder if like, the lighter ones are younger, or the darker ones are stronger, or what? I don't know. It might be like people. Some people are black, some people are white, some people are yellow, some people are brown. You like to make analogies of everything that's not even relevant. <laughs> Doesn't mean all the people can't have sex and have babies. <laughs> so it doesn't mean these can't germinate and grow plants. So there go the trippers, drip, 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 drip. And here we're taking a scoop full of dirt out, taking one of our little starts, placing it down in there, covering it. Not all the way because we have some peat moss over here. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of that over the tops of where we planted them to keep the moisture in. And they should be good to go. This was Novali planting in the Vegas garden and I'll see you guys back in CA. Thanks for watching.